What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Should we talk about the Nun in this video here today? So the Nun 2, which was announced back in 2019, now has some more details coming out thanks to a panel Warner Brothers had at CinemaCon recently where they were going over their upcoming slate of films and apparently there was like a little sizzle reel where they were showing some titles and I guess one of the titles that sizzled across the screen was the Nun 2, further confirming that the film is indeed still coming because this movie was announced back in 2019. The original film came out in 2018 and it's just been like nothing since we first heard about it to my knowledge the person who is going to be pending this script or pending the nun to or who may have already of course written it is a kayla cooper now this is the same individual who worked on malignant she pinned that movie and she wrote the screenplay for the upcoming blumhouse chucky doll version movie of megan which i have a video up right now go see what megan is all about in that video and see that crazy looking poster but the, again the nun 2 was originally confirmed back in 2019 but now it has also found a director as well uh and it was it was confirmed that the film again was still coming during a look at warner brothers upcoming slate at CinemaCon recently this week and today it was announced that the director for the film would be michael chase but before i get into that i do just want to talk about this comment that one of the producers had about the project back in 2019 this was one from a i believe it's pronounced peter safran i think he's just very involved with producing a lot of these conjury movies but he's commented on the film recently in the past stated stating that in in 2019 he stated that i think there's an inevitability to another nun movie we have a really fun storyline for that teed up so i think that's the i think that's the next one that will be written so as far as like saying they have a really fun storyline teed up uh i mean from what i've seen so far from akila cooper i i really loved malignant i will probably enjoy megan i do think that there were some problems with malignant that kept it from being great but the overall screenplay and some of the ideas it had in it and the way the narrative was mostly cohesive worked for the most part for me so i hope that she can come in here and kind of maybe give us a proper sequel that surpasses the original movie that i just can't really stand i i mean i i it's fun to watch it's not like it's something i can't watch but the movie itself just wasn't very good the narrative was kind of disjointed the biggest pros it had was was definitely the made the amazing spooky atmosphere set up with a lot of the set locations it it chose and the production design uh and of course valak herself played by bonnie aarons and those were like really the highlights and some of the performances but other than that like the narrative was disjointed Tysa Farmiga who is Vera Farmiga's sister she was great in the movie but it was just the material that they all were given to work with like the dialogue and all these other things and the best part I think that they accomplished here was how they tied it in to the original Conjuring but outside of that that movie was very forgettable I know there's a lot of plot threads in it that also that I because I haven't watched that movie in years but I think there was like something involving Jesus and blood and it just did not really mesh that well on screen with how they were portraying it several things of course also are not making sense it is very reliant on these cheap setups for jump scares as well but you know the the movie itself was still fun to watch i guess but it was mostly forgettable it, it was a letdown in in terms of what i was expecting from the movie in terms of being about this great character that you introduced in the conjuring too so with michael chaves directing the film you conjuring fans out there should recognize his name because he's also the one who recently directed the conjuring three the devil made me do it and he did also work on the nun just not as the director chaves i believe also directed the recent 2019 la llorona film and as long as bonnie aarons is back and we see what akayla cooper has come up with if this is indeed that fun storyline that that producer was talking about then i'm on board i think this has a chance to be better than the original movie but i think what the problem is is that so many people don't have have a lot of faith in it because of the fact that the original movie while it did make a lot of money to warrant a, a interest in i guess a sequel it just wasn't what i think many people were hoping they would get in terms of how you presented it to us because the narrative itself had a lot of problems uh and then again just going back to valak valak is a very interesting antagonist introduced very early on in the second conjuring movie stalking the character of lorraine and 
the interactions between uh bonnie aarons and vera farmiga when the, every time valak and lorraine are on screen and the way those two just are because they're both like incredible in the role she's doing a good job being menacing and vera is doing a good job of course getting you right there in the shoes of that character making you feel scared right along with her when this character appears on screen there's also that sequence that they have where they're alone and valak is going across like the walls and it's like a shadow but then it goes over to the painting of valak and then it attacks her in that in their office that was another amazing sequence from the conjuring 2 so the way they had that character introduced there and then ended up being wrapped up into the overall big big bad villain of the movie i would say and how it tied into what was going on and we didn't actually we it wasn't what we thought it was it was actually tied to a character that was introduced in the opening of the film and it was that nun character there was all this mystery surrounding it and then we learned the name of valak so with the nun when it came out people were excited to see more of that character because of all the intrigue you build up around it and maybe learn a bit more about how this how this curse or demon ended up being where it's at uh what were they like when they were human not to say that you need to go that deep into it but the movie itself just still let a lot of people down so if you can somehow salvage this with a decent sequel then maybe this will be one of those rare instances where people will definitely be able to say <laughs> that your sequel surpasses the original because when your original movie is a complete not complete but is a massive letdown and a complete and a massive misfire i'll say when you s start to show signs of maybe the sequel being better because the sequel doesn't have to do a lot outside of just being a more focused narrative not being disjointed of uh, maybe utilizing valak in a little bit more of a less is more approach because i feel like the way they were utilized in the conjuring 2 was far superior than how they were actually used in the nun maybe we saw valak too much maybe that's just me thinking that i i do prefer a less is more approach with a lot of things honestly just kind of hyping up the character and then letting us see certain glimpses of us or letting us see certain glimpses of her throughout the film maybe taking like a sinister approach with like bagul and how he was portrayed and presented in that movie a less is more approach but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below are you looking forward to the nun 2 what do you hope to see from the nun 2 what do you think is even going to be about what is this fun storyline they're talking about let me know down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews i'd like to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video